Hey traders, it's John Howell here again with you with another weekly market update. And I am from trading and investing for you.com. If you want to check more about who I am and what we're all about down there as well. Okay, just before I start, the good old disclaimer. I don't know your personal circumstance, your situation, and what I say in this what I say in this video could cause substantial financial loss, so you may not listen to me at all and you know what I mean, right? Okay, this is just general advice, and please, please make sure you just take it that as just general advice, okay? But other traders have used these techniques I'm using right now to make huge financial gains in their lives, and you can actually check them out on Trade Investing for You. Click on the Success Stories tab, you can see all audios and videos, I've got tons and dozens of them there. You see exactly how these techniques have benefited them. Now, moving on to the chart. This is, this is filmed for on the 14th of September, for the US market open. We're looking at the US market in this video, and this is for a short-term basis, okay? Short-term basis once again in this video. We're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and we're also looking at the S&P 500. Interesting, interesting things happening in the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. Now, Dow Jones Industrial Average, what is that doing? We've had a big down move last week, and now this week, we've now started to have, we've now two small updates, okay? Two, two small updates. Now, with those two small updates, right now as we speak, the Dow Jones is hitting into three resistance levels on the daily chart. And we'll show you exactly what that looks like in just a minute, okay? Three resistance levels. So my guess is, with looking at the, with looking at the market, is that it's actually starting to fault a bit there. The buyers are struggling to come in and therefore it's likely to even get a bit more upside during yesterday, the tomorrow, or tonight morning of the US Open and then possibly even turn, or might be a turn, and head back down with that, okay? Now, if that does happen, looking at the S&P 500, the S&P 500 didn't actually break the flag. A couple of videos ago, I talked about the Dow Jones Industrial Average broke that flag and more downsides likely to happen, right? With, within the bigger picture there. Then what's happened on the S&P 500, it didn't actually break the bear flag. It, was, it only it found support at the bottom of the bear flag and has now bounced off that, okay? So what I do see is that if the Dow Jones is telling me what is, if it's telling me is true and the, and the Dow Jones is likely to lead the S&P 500, if that is true, then the Dow Jones Industrial Average, we should see some more downside very shortly um, with the Dow Jones. And also, if that does happen, then we're likely to break the support on the bear flag on the S&P 500, and we're likely to get a bit more upward move. And then if so, downside should be in shoe, and a lot more downside should happen within that, okay? So anyway, without further ado, let's get to the chart. So we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average daily chart right now, and uh, we're having a bit of a close-up view. Let me s squeeze this chart up. And what we're looking at here is we're looking at this big bear flag through here, okay, big overall bear flag. And what we are seeing here is we're seeing the Dow Jones Industrial Average, it came out, broke out here, and what's happened, it gave a little reversal candlestick here. And then what's happened, if you notice here, Okay, so this is the bear flag we've been talking about for the last couple of uh, videos. If you haven't been seeing my videos, go to tradingandinvestingforyou.com and you'll be able to see all the videos on that homepage as well. And this bear flag, you can see this support line here. Okay, so you can see support line there, support line there, support line there, support line there. So guess, what, guess what's happening here? Look at this right here. That's actually been resistance, right? It's actually struggling to get up. So that's very, very interesting to see, um, to say it the most. Now, we can see that there's, let, let's let's highlight these support levels here, uh, sorry, resistance levels, because we can see a whole bunch of resistance through here. And I'll show you these here. So let me just get my colors right here so we can have a good, good look at these. And let's just make this yellow, okay? So this one here, this here, you can see this is an overall good support resistance sign. Okay, you clearly see the markets bouncing off there. So this here should be a whole bunch of resistance. Then the second one we have is going from here to here, and possibly even there at the maximum, there at the most. So probably around about there somewhere, we'll be able to see a whole bunch of resistance going through there. Okay, because you can see the point up here, there's resistance through here, so that could be resistance through there as well. And also what we're looking at here is we're also looking at a horizontal support and resistance line. Okay, and we can see basically all through here. If I draw a trend line through there somewhere, 
Okay, it's probably a bit lower than that, probably around a bit lower than that. But as you can see, right, this whole area of look at that resistance through there. It broke through, came back up. Look at all the support through there. Look at the look at the bit of support through there. So this area through here, we've actually now found three areas of resistance on the daily chart. So even if we do get a bit of upside, it's gonna even if we do get another bit of upside tomorrow or tonight, should I say? Then this this actually looks like it's running right into the area of a huge amount of resistance. Now, if I go over to my go over my S and P daily chart, look what's happening here. We've actually bounced off, right? We came up here, and if I just fix my little trend line up through there, that that's better through there. You can see it opened, it ran up, and it came back up, and it closed above there. And so, as you can see, right, what actually happened here, it opened, and it had this big update through here. So. Even if we do get a bit more upside on the Dow Jones, the S&P is likely to get a bit more upside, but if they do, notice where the S&P is right now. This resistance point through here, resistance point through here, and this here is also going to be an area of resistance in the market. So that's the area of resistance there, okay? So even if we do get a bit more move, if the S&P pops to the high side, it's getting into the area of resistance, okay? See this area through here? here? That whole area there, this resistance point, there's actually a couple of areas of resistance point. The Dow Jones are getting to a couple of areas of resistance. So in that, in a nutshell, we should see it run up and then come back down. If the if the Dow Jones keeps on, if the Dow Jones, let's go back to the Dow Jones for a minute, okay? Because I just thought of something as I was doing this recording. If the Dow Jones does hold here and break down severely, then guess what the S and P is going to do? It's going to break down and it's going to confirm that bear flag right there and then. Okay, so we are still in the overall big bear flag. We're looking at the small time frame right now. Yesterday we talked about the uh, the bullish reversal flag. Let me go over to the hourly chart here. Okay, yesterday we talked about the bullish reversal flag, as in the. Let me just get this correct color here. Okay, so as in the market run down through here, and then we had a bit of resistance going down through here. Sorry, a bit of thread there. This here was the bullish reversal flag. I said yesterday that we should get a bit more upside. That's exactly, we got a little bit more upside, didn't we? Not much, but a little bit upside. So, in a nutshell, uh, it looks like here, it looks like that'll be the area of resistance possibly there as well. So, even if we do get a bit more upside, lots and lots and lots of areas of resistance. And on top of that, we have our good old Fibonacci level going through basically there so you can see here that we're actually at the 50 and just above it is this 62 percent resistance level we're 62 percent resistance level we've got a whole bunch of resistance on the daily chart um, so that in a nutshell let's flick over back over to the daily chart okay and there we have it okay so that's basically what we see in a nutshell happening here and this is exactly what's happening right now so just to keep an eye out for that um, and so you can see exactly what's happening there moving forward So, traders, you see those charts, right? You see the S&P 500, exactly where the support is, and you also see the Dow Jones Industrial Average, those three resistance levels. The trend line coming down, it might be coming down for you. We have the horizontal support and resistance line, okay? And then we also have the bottom of the bear flag resistance line, three. Three resistance lines on the, on the Dow Jones. If that does hold and we get more downside, which is likely to happen, the S&P 500 is likely to go down and crack the bottom of the support on the bear flag, okay? So very, very, very interesting. Make sure you keep an eye out for that. And I hope these techniques are helping you to understand what is happening in the market right now. And this is geared to helping you move forward so you take the confusion out of the market so you know exactly what to be doing every single movement of the market's uh, movement, <laughs> okay? So anyway, make sure you come down to tradinginvesting4u.com. Check us out there. And we're actually running a webinar teaching you some great, awesome strategies to take advantage of these markets movement. So come down, we can teach you a lot of strategies of taking advantage of these markets. Also come down to facebook.com forward slash share trading mastery where you can also keep up to date with all these videos we're doing and you can chat to me and, and, and we can communicate back and forth and I can help you more and I are uh, more on a one-to-one -one basis as well there as well too. Okay, so come down and I can chat to you and so on and so forth. Share Trading Mastery or Facebook.com forward slash Share Trading Mastery. And also come down to my YouTube channel where I post all these videos um, at YouTube.com forward slash Trading and Investing. Make sure you go down there and click on that subscribe button. That way when I pop these videos out, you'll be, in, you'll be notified straight away. And so you can keep up to date with these. And also, 
make sure that you leave a comment below. Let me know that you're alive, okay? I, was, I really want to know. I get hundreds and hundreds of people now watching these videos, which is fantastic. But if you can just please leave a comment below and let me know you're alive and just leave a comment, that would be absolutely fantastic, okay? Because, hey, sometimes sometimes I look at these videos and I'm like, I'm, I'm getting all these people watching and just let me, let, just, just leave a comment below and that would be absolutely fantastic, okay? All right, that's it for me. Make sure you keep an eye out for the resistance levels. Make sure you come down to my website and make sure you say these yourselves, say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, and every evening. And that is success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.